Twisted Sniper 42 here at Sniper Scale Models. Um, this is just uh, a mail call and it's also uh, the first update for the New York State Modeling uh, Pro Street and Gasser build. Um, be before I start, um, I haven't posted anything um, <coughs> for a week or so. Um, I had a bit of an accident um, about, to, yeah, about a week ago or so, nine, 10 days I suppose. Um, and I basically s sliced a finger on my right hand um, pretty much top to top down to the top of the nail um, down to the bone so I spent quite a bit of time in A&E about five hours um, got, got stitched up cleaned out, stitched up x-rayed no anaesthetic no point <laughs> uh, it hurt. wasn't going to hurt anymore so just no anaesthetic, no point um, so yeah they stitched me up um, I've still been working but light duties uh, and uh, I've gone back today to uh, have the stitches removed um, there's no da damage to uh, anything so, so I've still got feeling in it and uh, I'm getting movement back in it now so that's pretty good um, but yeah I'll just quickly show you as you can see it's all taped up and I, yeah I can't move it <laughs> it's pretty swollen as you can see um, I can't really do a lot with it that's about as far down as it would go um, so yeah that's sort of limited me for a bit of building and and uh, st I have been doing what I can um, but it's not a lot so um, you know I uh, just thought I'd let you guys know the reason why you haven't seen an update or anything because I'm not really able to do a lot so let's get on to the mail call um, first one I got is uh, Mike Top of Vision um, I do believe I've sent you um, your shop card mate uh, but if I haven't or you haven't received it please let me know um, so I can so I can um, send you send you another one. That's it's no problem. I can do that um, again because of the finger. I've been unable to uh, send anything out. Um, Brighton's you know bad enough as it is without without um, the injury. So yeah, I, it will be out within the next week or so. So expect it within a couple of weeks. Um, yeah, and again, I'm really sorry, guys, that I haven't sent out your shop card so thanks Mike for that really appreciate you mate uh, then we have Miss Rose City Model Works Amanda uh, does some great work there um, also obviously her partner Adam who's got his uh, channel um, haven't got his card but again uh, sorry oh, not in the right place was it but again Amanda um, I will be sending it out to you within a couple of weeks and I will also send um, a shop card out for you and Adam at the same time uh, if that's okay um, thanks for that I uh, really appreciate that um, enjoying your builds um, you're doing some good work so looking forward to your next update uh, then we have Rusty K Thanks, buddy. Um, really appreciate that. Again, I don't think I've sent yours out. I, I've sent a couple out and I just can't remember who I've sent them to. So, again, um, if you see this and I haven't, it hasn't arrived to you yet, I would have sent them about two weeks ago before I did my finger. So, again, if you haven't got it, mate, um, leave me a message in the comments or email me and uh, I'll get you another one out it's no issue but yeah thanks for that 
Uh, really appreciate it, mate. Um, I'm pretty sure I've already shown you this one, but I'm not quite sure. Um, as you can see, this is post ferrets, so Jeff might not even be there now, but I'm hoping he's still there somewhere tied up. Um, but again, if you you haven't received it, Jeff, or the ferrets have stolen it, please give me a shout, and uh, I'll get you another one in the post. Um, thanks for that, mate. Love that card. It's really cool. And last but not least, um, actually came in today, and I know I haven't sent you. Well, have I? I can't remember. I might have done. Again, Grandpa's toy room. Everybody knows uh, Ron Stewart by now. Um, nice couple of bills on there. I must admit he's got two cars that I do like rather a lot. Um, I have a Merc in my stash that I want to do at some stage. And uh, I do like the old Fords. So, and I haven't built one for about 20 years actually. So it's about time I did. Um, but again, Ron, if you haven't got my card, mate, I don't think you have. Please let me know and uh, I'll send you one out. It's, uh, again, um, I might have forgotten. I tend to write stuff down and lose bits on scraps of paper and I end up with so many scraps of paper or losing them all over the place. I've got brain like a sieve when it comes to that sort of stuff. I really should write, write it all down, but I don't. But again, Ron, if you haven't got it, let me know in the comments below and I'll send you send you one out in the next couple of weeks. Um, what I will do is I'll let everybody know when I've sent them out. That way they could know they were expect them within two or three days, maybe a week at most. So, oh, there goes the photocopier. Um, yeah, so thanks for that, Ron, and you will be getting one in the post. Now, on to, <coughs> excuse me, on to the uh, 33 Wheelies Gasser. Um, now, I've got, got it in, oh, bloody useless hand. I've got it in a, in a, in a, in a first base coat of primer, um, as you can see. Uh, I wanna get rid of the rivets that are along there. I don't like those. Probably got, I got some photo etch um, rivets anyway, so I'll probably put those, use those. Um, but yeah, I've got just the, um, the body in uh, primer. Uh, I, will in, I'll, I will insert some pictures. Um, across here and all the way up here, all the way around and up here, up the top section, there was so much flat, um, not flash, seam line. It was ridiculous. It it was really really heavy. It, I've got to be honest. In this so far, we've taken all the injector pin marks out, which there was two, four, there was six in there, and there what was in here? One, two, three, four, five. There's about eight inside this one. One right in the centre of the hood on the inside, which, which was so large that when I dremeled it out and sanded it out, it actually put a tiny little hole in there, which I've sorted out. Um, but yeah, I've got about four hours in this, just to just to get it to priming stage at the moment, this body. Um, I didn't really realize how bad the body was, but it goes together, the body fits, the front clip fits nice onto the body. Um, I've got no, I've got no issue. It's an old kit. It's an old kit. It's an '80s kit, um, but it's a not. It's really nice. It might even actually still a little be a little bit of seam line there. I have to sort that out. But yeah, um, I've done that, and I've also the uh, the kit wheels with those horrible plastic two part jobbies, and someone had stuck one in there with the rim back on it, so I had to cut it out because they were just rubbish. So 
I'm going to use the kit rims because they're nice rims. And I'm using these tyres, these slits here, which are slightly larger on the larger side, diameter wise, um, than the ones that came in the kit. But they're, they're the same brand, they're good years. And uh, these were donated to me by a very good friend, um, you know who you are, who has, list, has just sent me with, with I, I had no idea until I was talking to him over email and he emailed me back and basically said, oh, by the way, mate, I've sent you something, hope you like it. And that was three months ago, there was a big kerfuffle, he put the wrong address on mine and the wrong address on someone else's who lives in the UK. And uh, mine turned up at um, his house. His hasn't turned up, so it's been three months. And uh, I feel a little bit bad for him, but it's all going to get sorted, so that's not an issue. But I really appreciate what he's done for me and what he does for me. Um, he's a very good friend, and uh, I'm, 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 I'm glad that he is one of my friends, to be honest. Um, you know, I, I consider all you guys that subscribe to me as my, you know, as as friends in the hobby. And but there are a few that, as far as I'm concerned, go above and beyond for me. And I would always appreciate that. And and again, as as I mentioned, actually, don't think I did mention it because I don't ever think I posted that video. But a while back, I made a short video about um, the passing of Carolina Man and everybody put something up so I didn't actually post post it but again I was talking about another good friend that um, sadly passed over and I was explaining that he's he's never very far from my thoughts and, and everybody, everybody knows him and that was uh, Big Boss Jim and we spent many, many hours, I know it was like two or three o'clock in the morning my time, and we'd be talking, you know, talking over the comments, <laughs> sometimes on YouTube and emailing back and forth, and yeah, even now, I, I, I really miss him to be honest, um, I really do, but anyway, that's enough of my jabbering on about Jim and unrelated rubbish. Um, as you guys know, the chassis was already put in the, uh, or it was already put on and glued with the nasty glue stains and stuff. Um, I want to, I'm going to adapt the front clip so it doesn't clip into, because it's a rubbish mountain, it really is. So I'm going to sort this out and adapt this to sort that out. And I'll probably go quite bare, maybe some aluminium colour or something there. And there's a couple of Ejector pin marks there, which I've got to sort out, but yeah, that's that's is what it is. Um, the rest of the parts I've de chromed because 90% of it was in chrome and I've put them in baggies. Um, I've got these headers, I don't really not sure that I want to use these headers, but I might have to because the other ones that because um, this kit you have a choice of these sort of zoomy type headers but also a set of manifolds that come down into a side pipe uh, I didn't realize that there is a few bits missing out of this kit because it was a second hand kit and one of the manifolds is that so I'll either use the zoomy style or I'll make my own I'm not sure yet um, yeah as I said it's all in decrowned and in baggies so yeah um, I did mock up the engine, start mocking the engine up, um, but I knocked it on the floor before I came out, so it's all in bits. But it's I've cleaned a hell of a lot of clean up on this so far. Um, it really is. Oh, bloody, there you go. But I've I've glued the. Uh, we yeah, actually the top hat, not the top hat, the supercharger itself. This doesn't have a top hat. Um, to the manifold is one piece. Um, that took a lot of work to get that anywhere close to being 
that good a join. Um, again, the same same with the front motor plate there. That was as, a, exactly the same thing. Nightmare. Because um, again, this guy, whoever owned this kit, glued it and obviously wasn't, you know, it's, it's not not bad, bad. I've got rid of most of the seam lines down it, but I will address them a bit better. That doesn't matter because the oil pan's there. <coughs> so, um, yeah, that's as far as I've got with that. Um, I've put, obviously, this into the... Probably be a bit awkward now because of my finger. There we go. Um, into the chassis where it's meant to go, and yeah, as you can see, it drops down. Sorry, one side because for some reason it doesn't sit in the two channels that it's meant to. So I might have to address that. Um, but that's no big either. I can either pinch that in slightly or. Re refabricate the mountains, it doesn't really matter either or um, but uh, that's as pretty much as far as I've got with this kit at the moment um, as I say because of the finger I haven't been doing a lot uh, snipping off trees and dechroming and and I managed to sand this how the hell I managed that I don't really know but I managed it primed it and that's as far as I've got with it. Um, so, um, that's gonna be my first update. I have got a few other things going on. Uh, the diorama, obviously, um, that's go going on slowly uh, at the moment, because of, obviously, again, because of my finger, I can't do a lot with it. So, I'm going a little bit slow there. Uh, and I think that's about it. I do have another project that I'm working. Is it one or two? Yeah, I do have one other project that I'm working on at the moment, but that is a, a secret. I'm not going to tell anybody about that one until it's done, because there's a hell of a lot of work to do to that. Um, so, yeah, guys, thank you for watching my. Um, my jibber jabber videos, 17 minutes, oh my god. I am really sorry guys, if you've braved, braved it to the end of this video, then I commend you, because I've just waffled rubbish again. So um, guys, thank you very much, I'm not gonna take any more of your time up. Sorry, guys and girls, forgetting the lady modelers out there, I'm terribly sorry ladies. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, thank you for your support as always. Um, I am commenting on some of the videos, not all the videos, but I am watching them all. Um, and I'm quite, I'm enjoying the work that is going on. Um, certainly enjoying the Gasser builds and the uh, Pro Street builds that are going on. Um, Dylan's got quite a lot of people involved in that, it's quite good. Uh, as I say, I'll, I'm going to host a couple of group builds later in the year, or towards the end of the year, maybe into next year and we'll see how we go with that um, I'm going to do one for probably um, you you guys in the um, other genres so I'm talking about military uh, aviation that sort of thing and um, I will be doing one for uh, the automotive guys as well not sure about the uh, one seventy second smaller group build. Um, I might do that again this year. Uh, if anybody fancies doing that, hook me up. Tell me um, in the comments. I'm sure we can do that. Again, that if if we do do that, that would be the same as always. It'd be one seventy second or smaller, and it and and it's open to anything. So cars, planes, you know, whatever you like. Um, but if we do that, just, just comment if you want to do it. If there's no interest, then I might do it next year instead. Leave it this year. Because uh, I didn't do it last year, I did it the year before. Um, so yeah, thanks guys for your time. It's coming up to 20 minutes. I've bored you enough. Uh, build strong guys. See you later.